In the last lesson, we learned how to model up our site in under two minutes. Let's learn how to extract contours from this site model to use in our Photoshop site plan. If you'd like to watch all the other 40 plus lessons available, as well as gain access to all the course files and 50 bonus textures and PNG trees you can use for your own site plans, check out the full Photoshop site course on my website. The link is down in the description below. Let's start with just the ground plane. So let's say that you're starting just with a surface like this. How you would go about getting these contours from it is by using the contour command. It's quite simple in Rhino. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my front view as well. So let's say that you've got your surface already. We're gonna start off with this surface here. I'm gonna create a little base point just below. It doesn't really matter where, but I just want this to be directly straight up. So I'm holding shift to bring this directly up in an orthographic kind of projection. I don't know if that's the word I was looking for, but I think you get me. We're going straight up holding shift and we're just going to place a polyline like that. It doesn't really matter where it is, but now what we can do is select the cont oh, the site model and we're going to type in contour to bring up the contour command. Now it's asking us for the contour plane base point and that's going to be the base of this polyline that we just created. It's then asking us for the direction and we can obviously just go straight up because we know that this polyline is straight up and we want the contours to go directly straight up. So I've just clicked that one there and it's asking us for the distance between the contours. Now, the bigger this number is, the less detail that's going to be in your site model. The smaller the number this is going to be, the more sheets of contours, the more contours you're going to have, then obviously the more detailed your model is going to be. For example, at the moment it's set for 2000. Uh, 2000 millimeters that is so two meters there's a two meters difference between each contour so there's going to be two meters the next one's going to be four meters the next one's going to be six meters the next one's going to be eight meters however if this was 300 mils it'd be 300 mils 600 mils 900 mils 1200 mils and so you've got a lot more contours so this is a one to 500 model in rhino so that's going to make it a little bit more difficult but all that really means is that we have to divide 2000 by 500 to get it to the correct scale. So we want to be contouring every four millimeters in this model just because it's one to 500. And the distance is not going to be 2000, it's going to be four. And as you can see now, it's just built in those contour lines. Wow, fancy fancy. If we turn off the ground plane, you can then see those lines. That's our contour model right there. So that's how you use the contour command in Rhino. From here, I'm just going to turn off those lines around there and you can see that we've got one two three four five layers only five layers for some reason so then obviously if we wanted more layers what we can do is go back and we can undo this contour here let's do that again but let's say that there's a two mil difference between them instead of four so obviously there's going to be more detail because it's a less distance between each contour so let's go ahead and choose the base plane point again going to choose the direction and we're going to make this two. Look at that, now you've got more contours. This is going to be more detailed. In the next lesson, you're going to learn how to create the gradient base layer that you can use to control and manipulate the contrast and color and the vibrancy, the saturation of your site plan. I'll see you there.